Hello, I'm Simon Shaquette. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. We're hearing from a civil rights organization following charges filed against an Oakland County probate judge. Kathleen A. Ryan is facing domestic assault and battery charges. She's accused of getting in an altercation with a man she's dating on Wednesday afternoon. Ryan was arrested and is now out on bond. The Michigan chapter of the National Action Network releasing a statement saying in part, quote, we are watching this closely with hopes the prosecutor will not treat this as a buddy system charge. Domestic abuse and assaults are very serious charges and they should be dealt with as such. Shoppers across Metro Detroit supporting small businesses this weekend. Saturday was Small Business Saturday during the annual shopping event. 67 cents of every dollar spent at local retailers going back into the community. Mom and pop shops say this year is more important than ever as businesses look to rebound from the pandemic. The National Retail Federation says it's expected that more than 58 million people shopped small this weekend. Several crashes reported across Metro Detroit Saturday, including one on M14 that you see there near Ridge Road. A semi truck carrying milk overturning on the freeway. The eastbound lanes shut down for several hours while crews had to clean it up. We're told two people were taken to the hospital with minor injuries. With more winter weather in the forecast, more slick conditions on roadways are also expected. Mechanics are encouraging drivers to take it slow when driving in the snow. Now here's meteorologist Mike Taylor with a check of your seven first alert forecast. Thanks, Simon. It's going to be a cold one for the rest of tonight with numbers near the freezing mark or below. We'll have some light snow showers, maybe even some freezing drizzle. So just be aware there could be some slick spots first thing in the morning.